Hello, teachers. Once again, I welcome you to our online lessons. I hope you're doing fine. Um, my name is Arnito Deborah, teaching Primary 5 English. Last time, when I was here, we were talking about print media, but now we are going to talk about traveling. Last time, we were talking about tenses. So I'm still look, going to review the work that I gave you last time. I hope you did it and you wrote the answers. Now you're going to get a pencil and we cross-check together. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to read the words correctly. You should spell the new vocabulary correctly, write the words correctly, and use the vocabulary to construct meaningful sentences. Now, from P1, you have been learning about transport. So when we talk about trans traveling, is the same as transport. So I have here a few questions which I want you to answer for me. Because traveling and transport, they are synonyms. They almost mean the same thing. Number one, you're writing the answers only. Write the answers only. What is transport? What is transport? Write the answer. Number two, Mention five types of transport. Mention five types of transport. You write them down, the five. Number three, identify five means used by people to travel on water. Identify five means used by people to travel on water. You are writing the, the means, then Identify five means used by people to travel on roads. Five means used by people to travel on roads. In other words, the means of road, transport. The next number, list four animals used by people to travel. List four animals used by people to travel. We are writing the animals down. Next. List the preposition used for transport. R write the prepositions we use when we are talking about transport. Then, how do people travel in air? How do people travel in air? With this question, I want you to write for me means of air, transport. Means of air, transport. And lastly, give two means of railway, transport. Give two means of railway, transport. Now, let's cross-check our answers with yours. And we are going to cross-check the answers I have if they match with yours. Let's look at the answers. Number one, what is transport? Transport is the way how people travel from one place to another. I know that in social studies, we say transport is the movement of people from one place to another. But since in English you are talking about traveling, they are going to say transport is the way how people travel from one place to another. Number two, mention five means of transport. Mention five means of transport. So we are going to say road transport, water transport, air transport, railway transport, and pipeline transport. Those are the five types of transport. Identify five means used by people to travel on water. There are very many means of water transport, but I've just written five you can add on. You have ferries, boats, ship, ships, submarines, steamers, canoes, and others. Five means used by people to travel on roads. We have animals, cars, buses, omnibuses, lorries, trailers, tankers, and many others. Then number six, list three animals used by people to travel. List three animals used by people to travel. Which animals do people use when traveling? Some use donkeys, others use camels, others use horses. In some countries, people use elephants. In some other countries, People can use bullocks, but majorly we have donkeys, camels, and horses. 
Preposition is used for transport. For example, you say, I come to school by car. Then you say, I came to school on foot. Then you say, I am going to Kampara. So, majorly, we use on and by, on foot. Then any means of transport, we say by, by car, by aeroplane, by train, by bus, by lorry, by van. We use by. How do people travel in air? Means of air transport, there are very many. For example, aeroplanes, helicopters, we have hot air balloons and others. Lastly, two means of railway transport. We have trains and trams. Trains and trams. A tram is an electric train. For it, instead of fuel, it uses electricity. It is connected to the electricity. So, as we continue, uh, remember our lesson is vocabulary. We are looking at new words. We are looking at the new words. So, our first word is fair. 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 Now, this one shows the, the charges, transport charges, the money that people are supposed to pay to move from one place to another. For example, here, they say the initial was this money, but for every more mile you add, you add on that amount. For example, you can say moving from Kampara to Kavare, they charge you like 50,000 shillings. Like moving from town to here at Kampara Quality, the, the fare would be 2,000. So the fare, that is the transport charges. The money you pay to the conductor after traveling in a taxi or a bus. For example, you can say, I paid my fare immediately I sat in the taxi. I cannot go to Kampara because I don't have the, pay, the fare. So fare is the money we pay. Then we have the conductor. You can see him. What is the work of the conductor in a taxi or a bus? What is the main work of the conductor in a taxi or a bus? Are you, uh, are you thinking about it? Okay. So the conductor collects money. Is the one who collects money in a taxi or a bus. You can see even here, he is collecting money from the travelers. Then we have... Q, Q, Q. A Q is a long line of people. They can be lining like these ones. They are lining up at the booking office as they wait to get their tickets and go to the passes. They can be people lining up at the bank. They can be people lining, any group of, any people who are lining up making a long line, a long line of people is a Q. Then arrive. 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 To arrive is to reach somewhere. So arrive means reach. Arrive and reach, they mean the same thing. The only difference is that arrive goes with a preposition. Arrive goes with a preposition in or at. You arrive at a specific place. You can say, I arrived at Kampara Quality at 8 o'clock. You can say, I arrived at Nambore Stadium at four o'clock, you arrive at a place. I arrived at the airport in the, mid, in the middle of the night. Arrive at a specific place. Then you arrive in a very big area in general. For example, you can say, I arrived in Uganda yesterday. I arrived in Kampara today in the morning. So arrive in, arrive at. Arrive at a specific place, arrive in a big place. Then reach means the same as arrive. The only difference is that reach does not take a preposition. Reach does not take a preposition. You say, we shall reach Kampala late. You don't say we shall reach at Kampala. That is very wrong. We shall, we shall reach Kampala late. My mommy reached home very early. Reach does not take any preposition. We continue. Sit. These are seats. A place where people sit is a seat. In class, 
where is your seat? Do you sit in front or behind? But here we, in, we are in transport, in a car. The chairs in a car are called seats. Then crew. 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 A crew is a group of people who work maybe in an aeroplane or in a, in a train or in a, a ship. They, that, there we have, like there we have the host in air, we have the pilot, the co-pilot, the engineers, the hostesses, all of them together. We call them the crew. Like these people, they are, they, they are a crew. It is a group of people. A crew is a group word. Or we can say the crew of sailors. A crew of sailors. There we are talking about the people who work in a ship. We continue. Live. To live is to go away from a place. These people are carrying their luggage. They are going away. They are carrying their luggage. So we have another word here. The word luggage. This, the, what they are carrying is luggage. So they are leaving. They are going away. Then we have a ticket. Ticket, once you pay, once you pay, they, you are supposed to be given a ticket. A ticket is like a receipt. And sometimes, like especially people who travel at night, they go during the day, they pay, they are even given the seat number written on the ticket. Or even when you're going, like people who usually go up country, I know some of you, you go in your parents' vehicles. But for us who don't have vehicles, whenever we are going to the village, we always... We always go with, uh, we always go, when you're going to the village, we go with the bus. When we go by bus. When you pay at the bus, uh, at the entrance, as you're entering the bus, when you pay, they give you a ticket showing how much you're paying and where you are going. So a ticket is like a receipt that is given to the passengers after they pay. Then, book. To book is to pay in advance. You want to go somewhere, like you want to go at night, you go during the day at the booking office, you pay the fare, you are given a ticket, then you go and you pay yourself. When it's time to go, you just come and go. So book, to book is to pay in advance, you pay for the tickets. Then fast is, I can walk very fast, 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 fast. The opposite of slowly. Or oh, it can also mean quickly, fast. Then, arrival. These people have arrived at the airport. And you can see they are boarding off. They are, they are getting off the airplane. So, arrival, the act of reaching somewhere. The act of reaching somewhere is arrival. The president was given a bouquet of flowers on his arrival at school, booking office, booking office. This is the place where people go to pay for tickets as they book for the means of transport they want to use when they are going somewhere. And these days, with the smartphone, some people even book, some people even book on what? They book on online. Even those people who go with safe border, you book and then the safe border comes to you. Those who go with tax five, you book and then the tax will come to you. Then we have a ship. This is a means of water transport. Then board, to board a bus. These people, as you see, they are getting, they are entering the bus. They are going somewhere. So we board on the bus. Like these ones, they are boarding the bus. Then cyclists. A cyclist is a person who rides a cycle. A person who rides a cycle is a cyclist. Then speed. This is, this is uh, in your cars, there is this one. It is used to show the speed. As dad is driving, as mom is driving, it keeps on changing to show the speed that the car is being driven on. Then exit. The other time we, we said that the people who are boarding, they board at the entrance. Now exit is the place where you go 
out as you can see him, he's going out of the building. Then we have two words that most people usually confuse. We have father and father. Father and father. So these two, we have this one. It means a physical distance or length, meaning someone not near, something that is not near. For example, we can say, we can say that um, gas is farther than Kampala quality kindergarten. Or we can say guru is farther than ginger from Kampala. So father is the comparative of far. Then we have this father means to add on, to add on. For example, here we say if you walk further down the main street, you will see my house. Meaning you walk far and far and far. Texas is farther south than Okrama. Here we are going to say, I plan to further my education. To further, this one means to add on. When I say I plan to, add, to further my education, it means I plan to add on my education. If I have a certificate, I want to go for a diploma. If I have a diploma, I want to go for a degree. If I have a bachelor's, I want to go for a master's. I plan to further my education. I want to listen to this any further. I won't listen to this any further. It means I don't want to listen anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to listen to you. So that further means to add on. And then we have a sailor. A sailor. A person who uses the means of transport on water. Then a rider. A rider is the one who rides an animal. Can be riding a horse riding a camel, riding a, a donkey, a rider. Then we say the one who rides a cycle is a cyclist. The one who rides a motor vehicle is a motorist. Okay? Then we continue. We have an omnibus. For you, you call it a costa. Costa is not an English word. The English word is an omnibus. Omn means half. So when you call it an omnibus, it means half a bus. And some people say it is a minibus. No, it is not a minibus. It is omnibus. Then we have a taxi. We see these ones every day. Then uh, we have a chauffeur. Chauffeur. This is a private driver hired. I know some of you have chauffeurs at home, the private drivers whom you hire to work in your homes to take you somewhere. Then we have a seat belt. It is advisable that all passengers should fasten their seat belts immediately they sit in the vehicle. Immediately you sit in a vehicle, you're supposed to fasten your seat belts. Then, load. To load a vehicle. To load a vehicle means to put the luggage in a vehicle. As you can see here, they are loading the train. These travelers had luggage, so they are putting the luggage on the train. We are going to say they are loading. Then here, offload, offload to remove the luggage, to remove the goods from a vehicle is to offload. They are offloading a lorry. They are offloading a lorry. So let's read these words. These are the words that we have seen the pictures and we have used them in sentences. Now, let us read them. About. About. Arrive. Let, we are reading together. We are reading the words together. About. About. Arrive. Read with me. Arrive. Coach. 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 Yeah, these buses, they say gaga coach. Perfect coach. The buses are also called coaches. Fair. Fair. We have said that fair is the money you pay after traveling in a bus or a taxi. Fast means to do something quickly. Conductor. Conductor. We have said the conductor we are looking at here is the conductor, a person who collects money in a taxi. But this conductor can be in science. They say conductors of electricity. In music, the person 
who, who, who leads the choir is also a conductor, but the one we are looking at for us is the one in the taxi, the one who collects money. And when he's a woman, he's called a conductress. A woman, conductress. A man, conductor. Destination, destination, destination. The, a destination is a place where you are going. A place where you are going is a destination. Departure, departure. Now departure is an abstract noun that we get from the word depart. To depart is another word to mean leave. When I say depart from here, I am meaning go away from here. I don't want to see you anymore. Depart. So when you leave, when you go away, we say his departure. When you go away, his departure. Then passenger. A passenger is a person who travels in a, a vehicle. Any person travels in a vehicle or a water vessel or an aeroplane, we call them passengers, apart from the driver. Father. We say this father means to add on, to add on something. Language. Language. Sometimes you can enter a bus, you find the driver, you find the conductor doesn't know the language that you're speaking. Then a seat, we said a seat is a place where people sit in a taxi. Buy, buy, buy. We said I come to school, buy car every day. Ticket, we said this is the receipt that a person is given after paying the fare. Luggage, luggage. We said luggage, these are the things that passengers carry. Board then or float. Let's add on. We have ride. We read ride, drive, drive, sail, sail, fly, fly, cyclist, cyclist, motorist, motorist, seatbelt, seatbelt, crew, queue, chauffeur, book, booking office, travel, cycle, speed, taxi, reduce, reach, offload, depart, arrive, reduce. So you're supposed to use these words to construct meaningful sentences. That is my activity. You're supposed to use these words to construct meaningful sentences. Fair, father, book, rider, destination, departure, and luggage. As, as I wind off, I remind you that Corona is still there. Please stay safe. Stay safe. Till we meet again, have a great day. Thank you.